Hello everybody, today we have another reseller box to look at from one of our favorite resellers. So let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles. And together with my wife, Angelique, uh, we're resellers on Poshmark. Um, links to everything will be in the description below, as well as um, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff's down there too. I'm probably going to forget to say that at the end of the video. I do about 50% of the time, so just getting it out of the way now. All right. Like I said, we're going to be looking at a reseller box. Um, this does come from uh, the reseller that we have been getting the last couple of boxes from uh so um she's been she's been giving us really good stuff and some of it's been selling pretty quickly for us so we just keep going with her all right okay oh just gotta adjust my setup here all right so as always, um, my wife did open this and go through it and make sure everything was good, no flaws. And I have not seen what's in here. So up first, we have a Steve Allen. This is a large, um, I believe that says uh, Barney's in New York. Um, I don't know if that's uh, where it's made, probably just where it's sold. Um, let's see. Uh, if it has a made in somewhere. I don't see made in anywhere, so maybe it was made in New York. Uh, this is a 100% cotton. It is a men's button-up shirt. And uh, it's actually a really, really nice shirt. Um, it definitely looks like something I would wear. Um, and being that it's a large, it could probably fit into it. Um, I don't know how Steve Allen's I don't know how Steve Allen's do size wise. Oh boy, those puppies. We're just gonna ignore them. Uh, right now, everybody's asleep, so they'll probably wake up a baby and they'll hear some crying. But uh, like I was saying, I like yeah, I like this shirt. Um, definitely something I would wear, and definitely something that will end up in my rotation. Uh, should should it not sell, but I'm pretty sure it will. <laughs> just just because of my luck. Okay, up next we have a current Elliot. Uh, this is a 29-0, so probably a regular size, vanity size, maybe. Um, let's see if I can... Uh, it doesn't want to focus. Is my camera... Oh, I, might, I might need to edit that out. I'll probably forget. Uh, anyway, these are a pair of the current Elliot pants. Now, as I always point out with current Elliot, um, they have the, I believe they have the um, longitude and latitude of where these pants are made on the button and um, on a couple other places, but definitely on the button. Um, I really need to look that up because I always bring it up and never um, look it up. Anyway, these are just a nice pair of blue. Um, they are denim, uh, so they're very blue. Very blue jeans. Um, so those will, those should do really good. Um, we've been doing really well with jeans lately. Um, and speaking of jeans, we have another pair of jeans. These are a pair of pink jeans, and like I always point out with this reseller, rag and bone. My camera is just not wanting to focus today. Huh. Anyway. These are a pair of pink, um, pink jeans. Uh, let's see, they're size 26. Um, let's see if I can get the materials. They're probably just cotton. Um, that's, uh, let's see. Made in the U.S. Imported materials. Oh, they have two. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, 96% cotton. 98% cotton. Is that a six or an eight? It is a 98% cotton, 2% polyester, so I was right on the money there, but um, 
Yeah. You know, um, one of the interesting things about this, and I, I'll have to look at other record bumps to see if this is true, but that button, which it's not going to fill. Oh, there we go. That button has like a bunch of daggers on it. That's pretty neat. I've never noticed that pattern on a rag and bone, but I don't know that I've ever looked. Okay, up next we have a skinny... What are these? Um, oh, this is another rag and bone. Um, oh, there it actually focus. Uh, these are a pair, another pair of jeans. Um, this has kind of the, um, I guess, urban camouflage pattern, um, or I guess digital camouflage pattern. Um, urban because it's gray and uh, white. Uh, digital because it's kind of boxy instead of um, instead of like it's pixelated instead of uh, instead of smooth round shapes. Um, well, oh, nice pair of jeans. These are skinny, um, size 26. Um, yeah, so, interesting thing about camouflage, it's not actually to help you blend in. It's actually to break up the pattern so when people look at you, they don't see something that looks like a human. No, oh, just a fun fact about camouflage, uh, something I know from my high school days of paintballing. Okay. Up next, we have a Dane von Furstenberg. Furstenberg. And this is a size 2 dress, um, sleeveless dress, uh, and it's kind of got a blue, um, almost looks like uh, little tiny pebbles. Um, so like if you're um, walking over like a stone path, uh, that's kind of what that pattern is. Um, let's see if I can find the materials. I believe, yes, this is indeed the last item in the box. Um, I don't, you know, I don't see a material tag, so, um, oh, here we go. Oh, well, that's no good. Uh, there is a material tag, but it has faded. Um, I can kind of read it. Is it on the inside? That would be weird. Let me see if I can click on the inside. Um, no, it is too faded to read, and it is not written on the inside. So, we won't have materials on this one, but we do have one feature of this dress that I really, really like. Um, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you'll know what it is. It is pockets. Um, so I'll definitely make sure to uh, definitely make sure to show off the pockets when I photograph this. And that brings us to the end of the box. So um, not as a uh, I thought normally with these boxes, she puts a few more items in there, but um, it could be the case that my wife has taken something out to uh, measure or um, because someone already showed interest in it. Or it could be that because there were two um, pairs of rag and bones in there that uh, that took away from maybe some of the other, um, I guess, uh, less expensive brands. Um, anyway, I am happy about it. Those rag and bones uh, have been doing pretty good for us. And um, the I really, I really like that first shirt that we looked at. Um, it probably will sell, um, so I won't be wearing it, but keep an eye out for future videos where I might be wearing it. All right. Um, once again, uh, if you liked this video, uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Um, so I always appreciate that. It helps out the channel, helps us grow. Um, we're still pretty small, but we're, we're getting up. Okay, until next time, I've been Charles. I'll see ya. Fun little video. Here's some more uh, fun little videos, um, or maybe just a uh, the current video. I don't know how. Um, I don't know how the new. Uh
the new YouTube studio works with uh, playlists. Need to keep investigating. All right, bye.